Kara VR is our plug-in tool set for Nuke that makes it easier to produce really great VR content. We put that concept together and we took it out to our clients and we asked them what they needed as part of a compositing tool set. And the answer was pretty much unanimous. They need a way of pulling the cameras in, stitching to create 360, working inside a 360 space and being able to review that as you work. So that was pretty much how Kara VR was born. If I had to pick the tool that will be the biggest winner when you first fire up the tool set, it's going to have to be the stitching side. Stitching has been has been one of the biggest pain points. It has constrained the type of content we create or how we handle cameras on, on shoot. So it's sort of tail wagging dog to a degree. But the stitching tool is split down into a few core parts. First up, the idea that you can pull together 360 material from a bunch of different cameras, figure out the rig that was used to shoot them, and then stitch that together into a single cohesive 360 image. People have been using the camera solver with everything from the uh, GoPro rigs like the Freedom 360 through the Nokia Rozo, the Jaunt, the Jump, uh, through to Franken rigs where they've slung a bunch of reds together and just gone out shooting with that kind of thing. You can also fix up common problems, so things like colour mismatches due, due to exposure and white balance differences, or stabilising the shot to deal with moving camera rigs. In 360 video production, stitching is the most difficult part. Uh, and Kara is a tool which really allows us to um, pull together stitches that look really good and are much higher quality than the stitches that we've been able to get um, in other software. The workflow side of Kara VR allows you to tie into Nuke's arsenal of tools for dealing with standard day-to-day -day operations like roto, rig removal, tracking, comp work, all that stuff that is so great at on rectilinear material. Kara VR allows you to apply that to the 360 world. So it seems like a small thing, but I'm particularly chuffed with the uh, spherical transform mode. Um, it basically gives you the ability to work with Nuke standard operators on 360 material. So it does conversions to cube maps, to rectilinear viewpoints, and it does it all on the GPU, so it's nice and fast as well. One of the biggest benefits of having Kara VR installed is that you can actually preview the material you're working on directly inside of the node graph or on the timeline within a headset without having to send this out to a separate machine and render it down. The ability to use a HMD during the workflow to be able to re review what you're doing live and then the ability to iterate faster to, to um, have other people come and review, have your producer come and review, have the director come and review. Um, it's just going to improve the quality of the output. Ever since we started producing VR content, we've really wanted a tool which pulls together all these different elements into one package. Uh, before, in our studio, we've had to use five or six different software packages in order to create a really nice 360 video. Uh, but with Kara, we really have everything combined into one package, which is exactly what we need.